Thank you, Dr. Popovich, for spending a few few moments with me in my life as a respiratory therapist. I really appreciate you uh, seeing that it's a total picture of, of all the respiratory therapists in the department and different things we do as a team f for the benefit of the patient. Thank you. We're here uh, for another edition of uh, Doc and the D, um, Walk in My Shoes uh, segment. Uh, I'm here uh, with an old friend, probably one of my uh, oldest friends and uh, colleagues uh, here at Henry Ford, uh, O'Neill Saunders. Um, O'Neill is a respiratory therapist, has been uh, with us for, um, my gosh, longer than I've been, uh, been here. Um, but I really wanted to uh, spend a little bit of time uh, with O'Neill to get an idea of uh, why he stayed at Henry Ford for so long, but also uh, what he does, and uh, give uh, you an idea about uh, what uh, respiratory therapy uh, and the respiratory therapy uh, department uh, do at Henry Ford uh, to keep our patients uh, uh, well and, uh, and get them over uh, a variety of their uh, illnesses. So welcome. Thank you. So how long have you been here? Well, I've been at Ford for 40 years. What does your average day uh, look like? What, what, what is it? How do you start your day and what do you, uh, what do, you do after uh, you start reporting into work? First, my day starts at 3.30 in the morning because I go work out before I start work. That's, my, that's how I am. And then from that point on, usually I think they consist of seven or eight ventilated patients on, on the ventilator. And we make recommendations to the physicians. We look at the x-rays, we look at the labs, and we consult with the physicians on changes that they want done with, on the patient who's being assisted on the ventilator. Well, you've seen a lot of changes, uh, both in the field of respiratory therapy as well as the uh, hospital uh, over the past 40 years. Uh, what, uh, what, what's the biggest change that you think you've seen uh, in the field of respiratory therapy? Well, the, the biggest change that I've seen is the technology. And when I first started in respiratory, we were in those heydays where you had to create and design and make all kinds of little toys yourself. And now it's all within the, and the ventilators now, it's, and it's computerized now. And that helped, and the, 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 the knowledge base and the, the, the other activities that we perform in respiratory. We do more, when I first started, respiratory was known for doing breathing treatments. Now we're, we're life support, and we're now we're doing nitrous oxide, and, and we're doing heliox and airway management with the physicians, and that's what makes, that's what I enjoy most about the job. You work um, a lot in the intensive care unit, and uh, one, of the, uh, one of the things I've always said about the intensive care unit, especially really good intensive care units, is that it's a team sport. It's right. a little bit like basketball, and it right. ha it, the better teams uh, uh, transcend uh, 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 each of the individual components of the team. So you work pretty closely with the physicians uh, as well with the intensive, uh, uh, in the intensive care uh, unit. What, uh, what type of interactions do you have with them? They know I've been there a, a long time, so I bring to them experiences and experience. And, and so the residents learn from me as they learn from their staff and, and because I always I try to show them, or teach them well, or show them things well. Because one day they might take care of me, right? And that's the most. So I, I'm kind of selfish about that. But the, but mostly we do uh, consult them and and uh, with the staff physician and his fellow and his residents. But we are a, a, a key part of the team because they always come to us for asking for recommendations. So Neil, you also work uh, with the early college uh, students. Uh, the great program that we have here at Henry Ford. Tell us a little bit about. Uh, uh, working with them. Yeah, well, they you know they they come in a little green, a little, a little trying to figure out what they want to do in life. And what's nice about it, they come and they get to go to the different areas of the hospital and try to see you know like radiology and respiratory. And what we do is we take them around the intensive care units and let them see real life situations. Probably teach uh, teach the younger respiratory therapists right. too about what to look for using your eyes and ears about what's going on with patients. Yeah, because, but also because people get so caught up on electronics, the eyes are always up and not down where the patient is. And then you, you have, they get tunnel vision. They say, if something's going wrong, they're staring at the monitor. I tell them, look at the patient. You just showed me, uh, uh, showed me her picture. <laughs> and, that, uh, uh, and I didn't know this about you as well, is that your mother was, uh, was a nurse. Yes. Tell me a little bit about your mother. When the nurse was being trained, they were trained by the newer doctors. The black nurses are trained by the fellows and the, and the residents, and the white nurses are trained by the 
by the staff physicians. Mm. And because of that, the black nurses knew more than the white <laughs> nurses because they knew how the technology was going on. All the new things. <laughs> all, right. all the new things was, were, were, was going on. And so she was a, uh, like in the Hall of Fame in, in South Carolina f for nursing. Well, I took uh, particular uh, pride and uh, also enjoyment in uh, this segment of Walk in My Shoes. Uh, O'Neill Saunders and I go way back. Um, obviously, as a pulmonary physician, and uh, he is a respiratory uh, therapist, uh, we uh, crossed paths uh, many times. I think it uh, shows you the type of incredible uh, skills that uh, many of our uh, employees have. Oftentimes, uh, those skills and uh, talents uh, uh, aren't as obvious in their uh, usual jobs that they carry out with uh, obviously great skill and professionalism, but they also have uh, the additional uh, talents. I learned a lot uh, today uh, about uh, O'Neill. Um, uh, didn't quite realize that he was uh, such an accomplished uh, a pool player, uh, but more importantly, um, uh, learned a lot about uh, uh, what uh, was his uh, family's uh, um, uh, origin, uh, really, especially his uh, uh, his mother uh, starting uh, as a nurse and really uh, forging ahead uh, so much of the success in the uh, uh, Saunders family. So it's a uh, it's a great uh, it's a great walk in my uh, shoes. It's also great to see uh, how incredible uh, the respiratory therapy uh, department has uh, assisted in uh, us uh, being the uh, site of. Uh, uh, so many uh, great uh, triumphs in uh, caring for the sickest of the uh, sick. So uh, uh, congratulations, O'Neill, and congratulations to the Respiratory uh, Therapy uh, uh, Department. Thank you.